Hello again, YouTubes. This is Beanie Bomb, and today we are going to be talking about school, specifically the American schooling system. But this should also apply to the other, other, uh, the other regional school systems as well, because they're all pretty much similar. So I have a few problems with school, and uh, it's like the concept of school is very important, you know, education. But that's not what school does. School doesn't educate. It does literally nothing but bad. I mean, of course you could think like, Oh yeah, it teaches you work ethic. You could learn work ethic doing what you want to. Um, you know, you don't need work ethic for standardized testing or like doing homework and stuff. You're not going to be doing that type of stuff at your job or your career, the, whatever you choose to do with your life. Oh, but you get to meet cool people. Yeah, you can do that by going out too. <laughs> But anyways, those are just a few of the, uh, the points that I have. Uh, my major points consist of homework, the way they teach, um, and what they teach, and a couple other points too that I'm gonna get to. So, for the first thing, homework, okay, it's common sense that homework shouldn't be a thing. I mean, if you think about it, okay, if you know it, you don't need to do it. And if you don't know it, you can't do it. Now, homework is a huge part of your grade and I, I don't know if that goes for other schooling systems but in American schooling it is a ginormous portion of your grade if you don't turn in any homework and this does de depend on the teacher but if you don't turn in any homework you are pretty much guaranteed to get like if you get an A plus on every test and, and, and are really active in class you're pretty much like gonna get a C highest so now some may argue, well, you need repetition to know the stuff that you know. Well, um, for one, you don't need to know the stuff that you know, but for two, what, what, what the heck is the hour in class supposed to be for? For the 45 minutes or 50 minutes or whatever it is, it's for repetition, right? Or, or for learning the stuff and, and repeating it. That's what you do in class anyway, so homework is completely pointless. There's no point to it at all. Now, something that goes on for homework is uh, school is the number one leading cause for stress and suicide for, uh, for, for, for kids, basically, for just anyone who's not legal to work yet. And I believe that is mainly because of homework and grades and also the fact that school is important when it should not be. So, school isn't important, and it shouldn't be, and uh, a good example is this, is uh, my friend, the Tufty Womble, or Jacob, he's going to be a, some sort of f uh, cinematographer, he's going to work in film or something. Now, he was in history class, and his history teacher straight up told him, if you don't pass this history, you'll never be able to work in film. Unfortunately, that statement does have bearing, because colleges highly rely on looking at your grades and whether they want to accept you or not, and colleges is where you actually learn how to do what you want to do, so college is really the only important thing. So my question is this, how does how good you do on a, a history test you know, you could know a lot of history, you could be really good at it, but you couldn't be good at taking tests, that's another thing as well. How could not be go doing good at taking a history test determine if you are good enough to be a cinematographer? Okay, I want to be an animator. How does my grades, my, my schooling, my reliability on turning in homework, which does not matter and is not important to me, and takes away my time from actually working on animation, how is that going to determine if I can be an animator or not? It doesn't make any sense, you see? Another thing is how they teach. Uh, teaching, one person teaching a large class does not work for a lot of people. Take Einstein, for example. He wasn't, he's brilliant. He is insanely smart, but he, he didn't do exceptional at school. He was like average to below average. Think of Bill Gates. He actually dropped out of school. Another thing is how it's taught, this includes homework, is it's forced, you know? It's not like... Uh, with the exception of electives, but electives you just choose what class you want to be forced into taking, pretty much. But schooling could put off a lot of people on what they actually want to do. So say someone, deep down inside, they would have wanted to become a mathematician because math truly intrigued them, and I think this might even be true for me because I kind of enjoy math, but I don't <laughs> when it comes to schooling because it's forced and it's stressful because it puts you off on the subjects is what I'm trying to say. It squanders your potential. Another point is 
you do it for too long. You don't have to be in the schooling as long as you are in. After the fifth grade, it's you pretty much know everything you need to know basically for life. Um, you know, except for everything that's important, like you know, paying bills, how to pay bills, you know, how to raise a family, how to you know, pretty much live a life outside of school. You know, I know how to properly apply for jobs, and I know how work ethic is important and stuff like that, but that's only because of my woodshop class, and not all woodshop classes are the same. Most woodshop classes, you just get taught how to do the stuff, and you just do it. But my woodshop teacher thinks it's very important for, for jobs to learn how to apply properly and all these things, so he, he puts emphasis on it. It's not a part of woodshop, but it's something he does, and I... That I, I I would say it was very rare that any other woodshop class did that. I might be wrong, but even so, it's not every woodshop class, and woodshop is an elective that not even a lot of people choose. Not to mention, it's not even at every school. I talked about previously how long it is, you know, like how long you are in schooling for the long run. So you're in schooling pretty much from when you can remember to 18, and that's just when you graduate high school. It's pretty mandatory that you go to college if you want a career, <laughs> which is like kind of silly. Uh, but, but then you're in there for another four years, or, or two years if you just do the standard colleging, which is just an extension of high school. So by the time you are 22 years old, you have graduated. Now think about this. How much time, if you truly devoted yourself to what you wanted to do, uh, how much time do you think you would have had to grow better at that? How much time do you think you would have had to work with an employer on, on what you want to do in get promoted and maybe even become the CEO of whatever you want to do. So like, I'm an animator, but I can't do anything until I'm done with my homework, and sometimes that's all the way up until I have to go to bed, because, you know, you need an adequate amount of sleep, right? So homework prevents me from doing animation for no reason. No good reason. Homework, as I said, is pointless. I don't need to do it because I know it, and if I don't know it, I can't do it at all. Repetition doesn't matter because it should be done in school anyways. So if I didn't do any of my homework, I would have had so many more hours, so many more months put into my work as an animator. And by the time I got into a position to apply for a college, they I would have had a much bigger portfolio. Not to mention the first two years of college are just an extension of high school as I previously said, which is stupid. I think all the four years should be devoted to what you want to do. Oh, well, Mr. Beanie Bum, you need those two years to decide what you want to do because, you know, high school is like, dilly dally, I'm just doing this because school. But high school is, you know, it's where you're gonna go, go for it. It's where you're gonna go for your final job. You don't have to go to high school right away. You can, you can wait a little bit, delve in the things you want to do because we live in the age of technology. You are listening to me right now through your ears, and I could be across the world from you. There's a lot of things you can do. For example, I make music, I make gaming videos, I make real life videos, I draw, I'm a cartoonist, a light cartoonist, but I haven't cartooned a lot of things, but I'm all those things and I haven't taken one class for it. That was all on my own doing. Not to mention, I'm also a gymnast, I've delved in dance before, I've done all these things and all of these things have been accomplished at school. School has just held me back from what I could do. If school just taught you the basics, and taught you more than the basics, taught you the basics of how to live, which they do not, if school were to teach you those things and end when it was supposed to, then you could have had all of your life, ever since you were say 13, to decide what you want to do, and let alone decide, excel at what you want to do. As a side note, if you don't want to learn something, you're not going to learn something. Not to mention, you're surrounded by a bunch of people that just don't want to be there, that are just rude, that are immature, that are... You're surrounded by a lot of bad people, pretty much. And, and I'm not saying that you won't be surrounded by a bunch of bad people, but if you're in a setting in an environment where you're around people who want to be there or around people who have matured more there'd be a lot less issues with with bullying everyone would be more polite the world would just be happier i guarantee that when school ended or if school ended when it was supposed to every single one of you listening to me right now would be more talented and have had more experience in the world and what you want to do 
as of now. I mean, let's say I drop out of high school right now. My parents get arrested, but let's say my parents don't get arrested and I focus purely on animation. Let's say I go to Cartoon Network. I mean, that's, that's a big place already, so probably wouldn't have gotten a job there unless I graduated from a prestigious college. But let's just say I go to Cartoon Network and they would have hired me just based on my work. The unfortunate thing is even if I was the most excellent person in the world, they wouldn't have hired me because I don't have a high school thing, a graduation ticket or whatever it's called, I don't even care. Even if my work was absolutely astounding as an animator, if I didn't go to college, they probably wouldn't care about me. They probably wouldn't even look at me. And that leads into the fact that school is important for employers. Why? I don't understand how my ability at turning in homework and being good at tests makes me somehow better at what I want to do. I don't understand. Even if you want to be a mathematician, you're going to have to go to college and relearn all that stuff you didn't learn in high school. So what's the point? What is the point of being good at history? It's not even being good at history, it's being good at history class. You could be really into history, know a lot of facts that are important to you, know a lot of facts that are maybe even important to the world, but you could be horrible at history class. Apparently, that doesn't matter to the employer. The sad part about all this is, ladies and gentlemen, it can all be changed so quickly. If a couple laws were just passed, things were changed, if employers didn't take school seriously, this could all be changed overnight, even, if you think about it. And that's the sad thing about it. It stayed like this for so long, and just a little bit of common sense could, like, diminish, totally demolish the fact that school is the way it is today. But that's about all I have to say on the subject. I might have forgotten a few things, but all I said, I believe, holds enough weight to convince a lot of people that that school the way it is now is wrong and I'm not saying school is bad no I think school is super important and I think if it was delivered properly it could teach you a lot of very important things I mean the early years of school teach you very important things as it is but it stops being important in middle school to high school maybe even a little bit before that and they just don't teach you properly they don't teach you what you need to know once I enter the quote real world as every teacher in the world calls it how am I supposed to be able to handle myself as all I know how to do is take a standardized test properly? But yeah, what are your opinions on the subject of school and schooling? Put in the comment section down below and, and try and really take it seriously because I don't want to hear just anyone say, y School sucks because it's bad, you know? I want to I know, I wanna know your opinions, especially if you happen to be an adult watching this. So, thank you very much for, for listening on what I have to say about school and stuff, even though I am just a teenager. Uh, so, yes, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, but again, leave a comment down below as I said, and I will see you all later. Goodbye. Oh yes, I'm sorry, I know I already did the outro, but there's one last thing about school that's completely ridiculous. The rules. Like, no beanies? Are you kidding me?